All right, here we have an evaporator to a uh, walk-in cooler, and we're about to uh, sweat in the expansion valve on this right now. See, right now we have it, the expansion valve all wrapped up in rags, kind of as a, as a heat sink. This is the equalizing tube, and down here is the manifold. And of course, this is the out part of the expansion valve. Capillary tube manifold. Yeah, capillary tube manifold. Yeah. Okay. And David, uh, Doctor D, or whatever he wants to call himself, is about to uh, sweat this into place. Into place. Because it's a lot is that easier. Italian? You got a little <laughs> Italian in you, or what? Into place. <laughs> and uh, it's a lot easier to do what work you can on these evaporator coils outside before you hang it inside of the uh, freezer because or or cooler because it's just that kind of a thing you know it's just easier to do outside sort of like working on the hull of a boat it's a lot easier to work on the hull of a boat when it's out of the water right <laughs> okay I'm holding this uh, expansion valve up with my small bender right now. Well, he uh, raises sure in the. Sure they probably had a hard time figuring out what you're doing there. Yeah, well, I like to tell him, you know, or something. I like to hear it either way. And he's doing a mighty fine job right now so far of uh, raising in that equalizing tube. Well, that looks pretty. You're being a little sarcastic there, ain't you, Jim? <laughs> sure. It looks pretty all the way around. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. And, of course, now we're dousing it with some water because you want to keep that heat sink nice and wet while you're brazing. We still have to braze the uh, the joint on where it you know, actually we connects. Could, we could run some nitrogen in there too. Oh yeah, well we, yeah that's good. You wanted to do that or I mean it wrapped good enough there, Jim? That uh let's I see don't here. Look, I don't um look that good. Hmm. Okay, I guess I uh, yeah let's let's go ahead and wanna rewrap that. Yeah. Okay, we'll do that. Yeah, I don't. Cause I, I don't want to hurt your feelings or anything. Uh, but. Well, it was wrapped good for when we were doing the equalizing too, but yeah. now we're off to do. Uh, now some people like putting that gooey stuff on there, that cold. Uh, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah it's some a paste. People, it's yeah, a, some people like putting that and heat sink paste. Heat sink paste on it. Yeah, uh -huh. it makes a mess. It makes a mess, but I mean, you know, it, whatever you want to do. If you right. uh, buy some and try it, that's fine. Right. I, I've tried a couple different ones, and you know what? The reality is, I like wet rags better. I'm sorry. He's a wet rag man. Yeah. Yeah. Now, unless of course a manufacturer. That reminds him of when he went from rags to riches. Yeah. Of course, now if a manufacturer out there wants to send me some for, for a free trial, I'll, I'll be glad to do so. And <laughs> Becky would be happy of that situation too. <laughs> free, free, free. Yeah. Okay. While I got this off, what I might as well do is just go ahead and re-wet it. So right. Guys, no. Uh oh. We had it. You know how that is. Oh yeah. You I thought, do. think uh, you have it, and then, yeah. and then surprise. All right, now see he's wrapping this uh, expansion valve again, and and by the way, normally speaking, I mean I usually tear it apart, you know, the expansion valve before I brace it, but. Uh, like we were talking about in another video, every tech has their own ways of doing the same thing, which is a good thing, which is just fine. You want to tear it apart? Is that what no, you're saying? No, no, I'm not. I'm just saying, you know, that, uh, you know, how every tech has their own way of doing things. <coughs> and, uh, 
Don't worry about it. It's fine. It'll be all right. That, uh, um, but this is this is a one good way for everybody to see how you know it's done to correctly to wrap the expansion valve if you're not going to tear it apart for brazing. If you can act, the mo most important thing, if you can get it right around there where it won't go past that, but you, you can't get it too, you can't get it too close because, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You can't get it too close because right. then you won't get no heat on it. It won't let you get the heat on it you need. So, yeah, it's sort of a balance. I'm gonna have to hold that in the bottom, I think, too. Yeah, so put that it'll uh, thing back under it or something. I got a yeah. two by, I got a little block right there. You oh, that's put okay. under it. Two that's by. Right. Just, what you all right? I'm sorry. Didn't mean to pinch your fingers. All right. Everybody saw that. I did it. I pinched his <laughs> fingers. <laughs> yeah, old Jimbo. He uh, <laughs> he's one of a kind. Watch out, watch okay. out. Okay, good. That'll work too. So we replaced me with a piece see, of block. See, every technician has <laughs> yeah, their own way of doing things, see? Yeah. And well, now that Jim mentioned that, I'm going to try to do everything just the opposite of what he would do it, just, yeah. so, just so we can have fun here. You always want to have fun when you're doing this. That's right. If you're not having fun. Then you ain't having fun. And then you ain't. <laughs> Look at here. Look at there. Yes, sir. Look at that heat. Now, I don't think Jim's ever worried about wrapping the manifold. No. Uh, I don't. Not really, no. I think it'd be alright. That's my opinion. I'm sure I'm going to be getting comments about it, but that's okay. Nothing like getting comments about something when you're 